ancient Inca ruins, the fortress of Sacsay Woman. This was the main fortress leading into the city, which you see down below in the valley. Very impressive. Just look at these massive carved boulders. A little perspective. As big as I've gotten, these boulders, I mean, just this one I'm looking at now. I had to guess it's eight feet tall by about six feet wide. Look at how they all fit. There's no mortar between them. Look how they're cut. Curves, slants, and angles. That one over there. This made it fit perfectly. I mean, these were incredible engineers in the anchor. so far ahead of their time, certainly farther ahead of anything that we had going on back in the 1400s and 1500s, there's no comparison. Climbing a little into the sexy one. I had such a headache last night. You need a key. Well, we don't need to go that slow. I do. And we continue up. What a massive, massive citadel, fortress, whatever you want to call it. Temple. Temple. Remember, we're over 11,000 feet, former smoker, and we're old. <laughs> and we're old. Thanks, Steve. <clears throat> and the trek continues. According to the specialists nowadays, and as well the recordings of Inca Garcilaso de la Vega, Above this area used to be a very nice temple. Mm -hmm. One of them in order to worship to the sacred fire. You know, back in the time, to have a fire, it was a quite hard to turn the light, you know, the fire on. Yeah. So, places like this, they used to preserve fire and light. Gotcha. So, they used to match Yeah. So, like this, you don't need it, right? Yeah. So you just go to the temple and then take the fire to your house. So, so when you get to the top of Saxe Woman, you are literally looking out over the entire valley with the city of Cusco. 
And again, mindful, we are well over 11,000 feet up. And that's down there where you're well over 11,000 feet up. So you can only imagine how high these mountains are here. Thursday, today's Tuesday. Thursday, we go to the Rainbow Mountains and that's gonna be the biggest challenge yet for this former smoker, overweight guy. That's going to be like 15,000 feet, but it's supposed to be incredibly beautiful. So, this afternoon, C and I are going for a three-hour spa day. We're going to do a bariatric uh, thing for an hour. We're going to float for an hour, and then we're going to get a nice massage for an hour. And hopefully, that'll limber us up some, help with the breathing. Because there's no, we, neither one of us has altitude sickness. I mean, our only issue is really uh, me being a former smoker and Steve, probably because he's lived with a former smoker, is just um, breathing at the high altitude. Sea level, we're fine, but up here. And it's a shame, because this is one of the places I wanted to come visit at, with the thought in the back of my mind that maybe this would be a place to <clears throat> overwinter for a month or so, but. I just don't see it happening. It's not worth the effort with the, uh, with the breathing. It's absolutely beautiful, beautiful to visit, but not at the expense of being uncomfortable. And to a point we are, but we deal with it because this is such an adventure that you have to take these challenges into consideration. So, but that's it. That's sexy woman. <laughs>